Sons of the Forest is introducing AI teammates. This is definitely one of the most anticipated features of the game. The original Forest released back in 2018 and you had to go at it solo or with friends. But now if you are a player that likes to play alone or at least have a majority of your playtime on your own, then what you can do is get AI teammates. Not so much to help you fight off mutants, but more along those lines of gathering resources and all the other bits that come with uh, the, the mundane parts of some survival games. But they will help you defend against mutants and a load of other stuff as well. We're going to have a little bit of a detailed look into what they can do. This video is primarily around AI teammates, so if that's something you're interested in, stick around, subscribe to the channel. We've got plenty more Sons of the Forest to come. First off, meet Kelvin. Now this guy is brilliant. He is a, I would say walking and talking, but he's not so much talking. He is non-verbal because he received a head injury upon the crash onto the island, but he can do pretty much everything else apart from talk to you. So maybe it's time to, to get out Wilson again so we've got someone to talk to. But what this guy will be able to do is help you scavenge for resources. He will also keep an eye out on your base and surrounding areas and warn you of any dangers that are incoming. As we've seen from a few of the clips, he will point out mutants that could possibly be coming up behind you to attack you on the sneaky side of things, which is brilliant. They are going to help you in that way. He does seem to fight a little bit, but... I don't think it'll be as much as, as Virginia. I think Virginia may have some sort of vendetta against the cannibals, whereas Kelvin's just there for the ride and is, is well, he's trying to survive. We do know that what we can do with him is give him commands. So as you can see, we've got a little bit of a notepad and we'll scroll through that notepad and give him certain things to do. So we can get him to go gather resources, a certain resource. We can get him to put resources in certain places. So if we want to move bases from A to B, then we could set him on a little bit of a mission to move one resource from here over to another location just to take out some of that mundane part of the, the building that does come with some survival games. Now, I think that is really, really good especially if we can get him going out on his own and not having to worry about him so say for example you've we've got an option to follow me or stay put and do the tasks that i've set you to do if we can do something along those lines that's going to be brilliant and he's going to save a hell of a lot of time especially if you are a solo player and you just want to build up a nice base you've got kelvin in there that's going to help you do all of that now with Kelvin, if you are not a fan of AI teammates, what you can do is quite simply put a bullet in his brain. If you are playing solo and you put a bullet in his brain and save the game after that point, you will not get him back. Once he is dead, he is dead. You can obviously save the game, shoot him in the face and then reload it to that point and he'll come back. But if you do shoot him and you save afterwards, you've lost yourself a perfectly good Kelvin. So bear that in mind if you don't want any teammates or you, um, you're you feeling a bit sadistic one day, then make sure you save it before you, yeah, pop him off. Next, I want to talk a little bit about Virginia. Now, we don't know much about Virginia, not nowhere near as much as we know about Kelvin. What we do know is that she's going to be very timid at first and she's not going to be as responsive as Kelvin is. So you are going to have to... Uh, proceed with caution talk to this well not exactly talk to her but approach her slowly obviously weapons down and see where things go we don't know yet how this is going to play out whether she's going to just appear at random set location uh, random location sorry or set locations and then we're going to have to slowly approach her and and eventually she'll warm to us or whether we're going to have to do something to sort of get her to warm to us, so potentially leave resources out for her or, or maybe feed her, something along those lines. So she's not going to be as as moldable, shall we say, as Kelvin. She She's going to be someone that's very frightened and, and timid or potentially aggressive. We haven't seen aggression towards the character from her yet, but that could be the way. If you show up and are aggressive with her, she might be aggressive back. Whether she has the permadeath that Kelvin has, that's not been stated either. Uh, so that's going to be something that's interesting to see. I know there's going to be a lot of people, as soon as they get it, uh, are going to either shoot her or um, wind her up in, in a way. But we do know that she will be much more combative against the mutants from what we've seen so far. There's some clips, as you can see here, of her holding two guns, which is really, really cool. She's got a shotgun, and then above her head, she's got the pistol, because she's got three arms and obviously three legs, which is wicked. 
she's going to be an absolute asset when it comes to those higher sort of waves of the enemies as, as you progress in and you're in there for a longer amount of time um if it's anything like the first forest the enemies are going to get more aggressive they're going to come after you a lot more especially if you're pissing them off so whether Virginia is going to actually be useful for resource collecting or anything like that is yet to be seen. I don't think she'll be as... What's the word? Um, trying to think of the word here. Responsive, should we say? Uh, as Kelvin, I don't think you'll be able to turn around to her and say, go and grab this, go and do this. I, I don't think she'll be like that. I think she'll be somebody that comes and goes. And whether we'll be able to actually have both of these guys... On our side at the same time is also something that's still up in the air. I think it would be good to have them both, but so far on the clips, as far as I'm aware, you don't see them both together, which is a shame. I think it would be very cool to have them both. You've got one to help you fight and one to help you build. But both Kelvin and Virginia are emotional. They are just like the mutants and the cannibals. They will be fearful, they are going to be hungry, they're going to need rest, and if they don't get those things, their performance is going to start to dip. So the worse that you treat these guys, the less you're going to get out of them. If you are very forthcoming and you help them, then they will do the same back. And so far, the confirmation we have is only of the two, so Kelvin and Virginia. But I do think we could be seeing a few more. There's a potential, at least. Obviously, we're launching into early access. So going into early access, there's much, much more room to improve and add different things. Whether they've already got more teammates in the pipeline. I mean, you can go up to eight player co-op. So they could potentially add three or four more. We could see separate ones, but they could do something similar to Fallout, where you can only have a certain amount of companions or so followers at the same time. So obviously you can't have all of them, and you can you have to disband your your group to bring in somebody new, which I think would be quite cool. Obviously, if you've got a controls or, or keep an eye on, let's say six or seven AI teammates, that's going to be a little bit irritating and potentially take up a lot more of your game time, uh, where you want to be focusing on other things like exploring and, and and doing that kind of stuff. So I I think potentially having two at a time would be very cool. But so far, what we've seen, it doesn't look like that's going to be the plan. We could only see one. Now, these extras, what could they be? Who knows? We could potentially see, as they've said so far about the AI, the enemy's AI is very versatile. They have thoughts, they have feelings. So could there be some cannibals out there that still have a little bit more of an emotional and human side to them? And they come over to you, they see what you're doing and are interested. And if you don't attack them, could they potentially help you out or, or do certain things along those lines? We've already seen one of the cannibals that has the golden mask on. And we know that you can 3D print these masks. And as you 3D print these masks, you can move into these groups and these circles a little bit better. So could we potentially see something down there where one or two of these guys could come and help us? Or uh, we potentially move in with those guys and become a part of their group? Lots and lots of questions up in the air at the moment, but I'm very excited. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. We are going to wrap that one up for now. I've been Wired, you've been awesome, subscribe to the channel, drop a like on the video, and stick around for much more Sons of the Forest. We will see you very soon with some more.